How many of us know about a brand called TJ? TJ. That's Tihar Jail, by the way. <laughs> the core competency is uh, catch a bunch of convicts, put them in, rehabilitate or punish, whatever you want to do there. And in every Hindi film, you'll see them breaking stones. I don't know why they break stones, but they're supposed to be breaking stones. Which means they've got a lot of hands and legs inside the R jail. So what these guys could actually think is, how can I go and apply these hands and legs to produce products? Now, that's not their core competency. Manufacturing is not their piece. Design is not their piece. Neither is marketing. But they went ahead and uh, went into 37 product lines. Yeah? And uh, a profitable venture. They were profitable, I think, the first year they had a net profit of two and a half crores. Not bad. Uh, but that was because uh, they had uh, 17 product lines that were negative. Yeah? So they had, they had called, they'd called a lot of people from the industry. And it was good that the industry also came in and helped them out. So I was very happy when I was once called in over there, let's sit down and see if we can do a product rationalization over here. So we did that. We went into that whole rationalization business and then you realize that uh, they've got great products How, for the Indian market, yeah? But can they beat other products in the same category, other brands, with the kind of wherewithal that they have, with the kind of monies that they have, with the kind of basic data that they have. Uh, interesting for Rajay, it'll be, uh, we have set up something for them, which is, again, as Godrej, we have set it up. So they're, they're actually predicting their marketing mix. So market mix modeling is what we're doing for them. Very interesting, only seven product lines exist today. One of them competes with my brand, Furniture. Uh, Godrej Deterio, so we are into furniture, they are also into furniture. But uh, interestingly, those seven product lines today contribute to somewhere around 46 crores and completely different area. And the brand is TJ, by the way, it's called TJ. Yeah, just to draw a line from here, uh, it, what is it that worked for them? Core competency for them was number of hands and legs. And a few people, uh, well, some of those convicts who are good carpenters, good jewelers, I mean, they had the skill to pick those guys up, train the other guys to do manual work. So skilled, unskilled, all of it is what they had. And they could generate, the, I mean, it, it is a new business uh, avenue for them. So now breaking stones has become into producing products. Interesting piece, but again there, they looked at a very broad space, telling you I'll get into 37 product lines. It doesn't work possibly. So the vision was too big. Maybe they couldn't even handle those product lines. Not that they were bad in those products, but they couldn't sell it. So they cut down to a realistic piece. But, you know, the interesting part here is diversifying from the Indian market to the global market. So next year onwards, end of this financial year, they're planning to go global. Now, they have no experience. I mean, not like a, a levers would know exactly how to penetrate a market. What is distribution? For them, it's so clear. These guys have absolutely no idea. So again, they believe there are certain companies who have got a presence in certain countries where through whom they can go in. So they're partnered, marketing partners. Interesting way of going ahead, but I think uh, we are seeing possibly the start of a very, very small company which could be pretty large and very soon.